Would you just stick your fingers in there, please? It's dirty. Fine, just put this glove on then. Move over, I'll do it. I got it. It's a bottle opener. I don't know how you can do surgery all day long and this somehow grosses you out. Oh, I know what to expect when I put my hand inside a body. Mm -hmm. Well, now that you're living here, I never have to call the plumber again. <laughs> I wouldn't count on it. I had to call the landlord for everything. You don't regret giving up your apartment, do you? No, of course not. I've been wanting us to live together for the last two years. Good. Because it would seem very odd for us to be living in separate places after today. You know, my parents' marriage would have lasted a lot longer if they'd lived in separate houses. They haven't lived together in decades, and look how well they get along now. Honey, your parents got married a month after they graduated from high school. I had three kids by the time they were 25. And it took your mom another five years before she realized she was a lesbian. I don't think the living situation was a problem. Like, our marriage would be nothing like theirs. Well, we met in high school. Do you ever think we'd get married? Oh, God, no. Well, that was quick. You never thought about it? No. I mean, come on. We grew up in Dayton, Ohio, in the 90s. I was just glad I had another guy to get off with. I mean, did you think about us getting married? Yes! I did! <laughs> well, I'm glad we didn't! I mean, couldn't! Look, I'm glad that we went away, went to college, had other relationships, and grew up. But I'm with you because after all these years, after all these years, you're the best man I know. How'd you get so well adjusted? Oh, my parents are still married. <laughs> I was talking to Sarah. You know, she was asking, how long have we been together? I don't know what to tell her. Do we count, do we count high school? Or only the last four years since we got back together? I don't know, does it really matter? Yes, it matters. The fact that we're together now, getting married, it's pretty astonishing considering we met when I was 15. You were so cool then. Hey, I'm cool now. <laughs> you were cooler then. Do you remember our first date? Well, I guess it wasn't a date necessarily, but... Uh, you gave me a ride home for band practice, I remember. <laughs> band practice, yeah. Well, I think that pretty much cancels out any sort of cool thing I had going for me. What? You were hot. You were 17 and played the drums. I was 15 and played the trumpet. No one ever gets hot for the 15-year-old trumpet player. Well, I was hot for the 15-year-old trumpet player. <laughs> and you had that massive trampoline in your backyard. I love that trampoline. Oh, I love that trampoline, too. What? I didn't even do anything. Well, I know. That's why it was so great. All we did was lay on it and talk for hours. It was all so innocent and romantic. And I wish we would do more dates like that. Well, I'm sure we could fit a trampoline in here somewhere if you really wanted to. All I remember is I really wanted to ask you to homecoming dance. <sighs> well, you should have. Here. Um, hmm. Dayton, Ohio. <laughs> no. <laughs> hmm. Oh shit, speaking about homecoming, uh, first I have to tell you, I recently had a conversation with her mom about gay sex. <laughs> okay. I was telling her about this blind date I had in college. I met this guy for drinks, and the first words that came out of his mouth were, are you a top or bottom? Does your mom even know what top or bottom means? No, hence the awkward conversation about gay sex. So I wish I could have been there for that. Anyway, based on that conversation, my mom got us boutonnieres. Get out. <laughs> oh my god. 
It's like we're going to prom. <laughs> What's up with the different colors, though? Well, I think this is her not-so-subtle way of asking us which one is the bottom. <laughs> I mean, pink is the universal color for bottom, right? No, that's breast cancer. And I would really prefer none of our friends think either one of us have breast cancer. Uh, don't they make anything in between, like mauve? Sure. Then you can explain to your mom what versatile means. <laughs> is your dad still planning to walk you down the aisle? <sighs> Yes, he's insistent. <laughs> it's beyond precious, okay? Oh, you saw him at my brother's wedding. The bride's father got to walk her down the aisle, give her away. He was so jealous. And I guess he thinks since he has no daughters that this is his only opportunity to play father to the bride. It's so gay. Your dad rocks, you know that, right? And last week he took you to a hockey game and this week he's walking you down the aisle to get married to a man. That's like the p flag gold medal, all right? <laughs> Hello? Uh, hi. Yeah, you probably want to talk to Johnny about that. No, this is Scott. Yeah, hold on. Where is it? It's your sister. Why didn't she just call my cell phone? She thought she did, just be nice. Hey, Sarah, what's up? Um, yeah, no. We'll be there around four. Okay. No. No. <laughs> you really don't need that many, trust me. For real. Fine, just do it. What? Well, why don't you just ask Dad's newest wife? She needs something to do. Yes. Okay, what? No, just do it, fine. I'll talk to you later. What? I love you too, bye. Oh, Jesus Christ. What's up? My fucking sister needs fucking hors d'oeuvres. She's obsessed. <laughs> well, you told her she could take care of the catering. Well, she seems to think that every guest needs to have at least four hors d'oeuvres of every kind. There are five options, that's 20 hors d'oeuvres per person. There's what, 100 people coming to the reception? That's that's 2,000 fucking hors d'oeuvres. Jesus, we're gonna be eating cocktail weenies for a week. No, those aren't the problem. People will eat those. It's the fucking kishka we're gonna have a problem with. Why are we serving kishka? We're not even Jewish. No shit. Well, I think it's great that your sister has taken up so many projects and kept her so busy after her divorce. I mean, she could have easily just moped around for a year like your brother did after his. What the hell are you doing? I'm practicing, all right? I'm a homosexual. You are a homosexual. We are homosexuals. There will be good dancing in our wedding. Are you all right? What are we doing? What do you mean? In case you haven't noticed, there is one thing my family is really good at. Divorce. Perhaps there's a reason why, why gay people weren't clamoring to get married before now. We were smart enough to see it didn't work. Isn't being gay all about not conforming to traditional societal rules about what love and relationships and monogamy mean? And now here we are. We're doing the most traditionally heterosexual thing you can do. We're getting married. Okay, wait a minute. So are you saying you don't want to be monogamous? No. No. I'm just saying... I'm just saying I've experienced enough divorce in my life, all right? I saw how my sister's marriage was the last five years they were together. They struggled just to communicate. They'd end up planning these bullshit events just so they could say they were spending time together. I don't want that. I don't want that for us. And if us getting married means we start acting like straight people, then... Do you want to marry me? <sighs> just, I'm just afraid that, like, in a couple years from now, we're going to end up planning date nights and shopping at Pier 1. Do you want to marry me? Yes. 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 Of course I do. I like Pier 1.
I can be your boyfriend. I can be your lover. I can be your life partner. I don't care what you call me. I just want to be with you. I want you to be my husband. And I want to be yours. You know, at the end of the day, our marriage is just about you and me. No one else. We could do all that formal shit in a couple of hours. Let's just do this part now. Just you and me. Okay. You go first. I love you. That's it? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I have written and rewritten what I wanted to say to you dozens of times, trying to find the perfect words to express exactly how I feel. And uh, the best I came up with is thank you. Thank you for being my husband. I have loved you since that first day on the trampoline when <laughs> I couldn't even fully comprehend what those words meant. You're the man. You're the only man. You're the best.